Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where my wife Amy and I travel all over the country, check out interesting places to eat, and bring you along with us. Sometimes, because we're full timers, we find ourselves in interesting places. And right now, we are in West Texas, off the Highway 10, in the middle of nowhere, in a town called Van Horn. And from my understanding, the El Capitan restaurant is the place to go. So let's go inside and check it out. Almost a century old, this historic hotel in Van Horn was once a resort for those traveling to nearby Carlsbad Caverns, Guadalupe, and Big Bend National Park. There's really nothing else like it in this tiny West Texas town. While for a time it was converted into a bank, it was ultimately returned to its original glory with European tile floors and crafted wrought iron banisters. Now some of the rooms even have small patios for guests to relax with a view of the Spanish style courtyard. The dining room serves breakfast to guests and opens every evening to the public at five o'clock. We were so fortunate to be able to visit this beautiful resort. Walking into the restaurant means actually walking through this beautiful hotel, historic, super nice. Love the decor and really the homage to the American Southwest. We had to get on a wait list because there's a lot of people here tonight and we came right in the heart of dinner time. Of course, while we're waiting, we get to sit in this beautiful lobby area. There's a book nook, there's a fireplace, which of course isn't running this time of year, um, and some gorgeous furniture, so I don't mind waiting at all. The menu at this restaurant is upscale. This is not a fast food place. This is gonna have dinner options only, um, but they have a lot of flavors of the region, especially with pecans and beef. So we looked at the menu, we chose a couple of things that were in the red because those are their house favorites. And then of course, we got a local beer, Revolver Brewing, and this is like a summer ale. It looks a lot, a little bit like a half. That is so yummy. It's not overly citrus, but it has a hint of it and has a nice rich flavor. So as Amy said, this is a somewhat upscale restaurant. And you can tell this because each table comes with a lit candle and a bun. I already buttered it. Look at it. Doesn't that look good? Look delicious. Mm. I think they baked those fresh here. They didn't like buy them and bring them in and heat them up. All right, so I got the revolver too. And it was a really easy choice because the tap is a pistol. How cool is that, right? And they have a vault of liquor. Not like a shelf or two of liquor, an entire vault. So I'm guessing that maybe this used to be a bank or something a long time ago, it's a really old building. I don't know, but what a cool way to repurpose a vault, right? All right, my food just arrived and it looks freaking amazing. Check this out. What we have here is the pistachio fried steak and it's got this this jalapeno gravy on it which looks freaking awesome it comes with grilled asparagus and down here it looks like these are the house potatoes with the gravy so i'm going to try this out all right i'm going to start with these potatoes because they just happen to be on my fork first Mmm, that gravy is, it's interesting. Let me see here. That's just the gravy. It's kind of like a, it's nutty. It's kind of like a jalapeno. To, oh yeah, I can feel the jalapeno in the back of my throat. That's delicious. Now I'm gonna cut into this steak and it's like country fried steak. So it's breaded, but it comes with this gravy on top of it. Mmm, I love me some gravy. My mouth's full of food, but that is delicious. Now I'm gonna try this asparagus. Do you like asparagus? Besides the fact that it makes your pee smell, it's pretty friggin' delicious too. Let me try it. Mm. 
that's really good. And because it's Texas, folks, comes with a great baked pepper. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat that pepper just straight because that's the kind of dude I am. Just eat it straight. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is a hot pepper. You know what though? I'm a glutton for punishment. Mmm, my beer's here. Thank you. This in the nick of time. Oh my. That is delicious and super hot. And one more bite of the potatoes. You know what? It's supposed to be Amy's turn, but I'm I'm gonna keep eating because that's just how I roll. Mmm. Another favorite on the menu was the raspberry chipotle pork chop. And I ordered this too because you know, we've had a lot of beef lately and I really wanted to try the pork chop because it sounded amazing. I love spicy jams and jelly. Look at me holding my utensils already. I'm all, I'm ready to eat like American Gothic here. So look at this beautiful chop. It's still on the bone. I love that. It's almost like a tomahawk. And then I, um, this is called the mashed potatoes as opposed to Paul's house potatoes so we'll see what that's like and these beans are gorgeous so let's go ahead and uh, cut into the main dish first let me see here I'm gonna not use a butter knife how about that and this is like it should be this is cooked through hopefully not dry let's find out and uh, put some more of that sauce on it Sorry, I put too much in my mouth. I shouldn't have done that. The raspberry chipotle sauce is wonderful. The pork chop is a little dry, which happens. Let's try these mashed potatoes. Oh, those are really good. There's like a brightness to it, like a Oh my, almost like a buttermilk flavor. I wonder what kind of cream they put in there because that's what I'm tasting is something something like a, a buttermilk or I don't know. I'm gonna try these green beans which look amazing. Oh, nice and crunchy. Those are cooked perfect and they have a char to them, like a smoky flavor. Wonder, the green beans are perfect. Actually, probably my favorite part of the dish, oddly enough. Um, but without a piece of pork chop, I'm just gonna, that's that raspberry chipotle seasoning. So good, it's very creative. I love it. Mm. Now I'm gonna try Paul's steak, pecan crusted. Jalapeno gravy. Mmm. So this does taste like chicken fried steak. It's good. It doesn't have. It's not ground beef, but it's not a fancy cut of beef either. Um, the gravy is more like like imagine country gravy with a flair. Um, so it's really good. In fact, this dish is why we came here. I put out on a Facebook group I'm part of on road trips that we were driving through West Texas and someone suggested that we stop at this restaurant for this dish. So these are the um, house potatoes as opposed to the mashed potatoes. Mmm. Oh, I think I grabbed... I was gonna say there's nuts in the potatoes. That's because on the gravy there are chunks of pecans. Now Paul was crazy about the asparagus. I, I like asparagus okay. It can be a little bitter. You know, if, if you don't eat asparagus a lot, like, it's okay, but sometimes, mm, that's nice. I like my green beans better, but there's nothing wrong with this asparagus. It's really good. Oh, Paul's pointing at me to try that pepper. Now, we all saw him tell us how hot it is. I like spicy foods, but he likes things way hotter than me, so let's see. Are you doing this to trick me? Oh my god, that's so hot. 
I couldn't. Ah, I gotta see. You're gonna ruin my mouth for the rest of dinner. You're so mean. He's so mean to me. Did you see that? She actually spit it out on the plate. That's gonna come back to me. So now I've got spit out, chewed up pepper on my plate. You deserve it. it. Well worth it. You deserve to it. See the face. Okay, so I'm gonna try hers now. So we got this pork chop with this raspberry. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle. I'll start to cry. Not at all. That's really good. And the raspberry on there actually like gives it kind of like that sweet sugary texture. It's really good. I do like green beans. When my kids were little, we used to make me green beans and they hated green beans. But I love them, so we eat them all the time. So. That's the way we like They're not at all soft. They're like cooked just right. They're so crunchy. Mm -hmm. I can see why she likes those, but now I'm going to try her potatoes. Compare them to mine. Mine are house potatoes. Did you hear that? House potatoes. And then you take a bite of the mashed potatoes. Okay, the house potatoes versus mashed potatoes. They're exactly the same. <laughs> There's no point having a bone if you're not going to use it to hold the meat, right? Mmm. That's the best way to eat it. Who needs silverware? A savory lollipop, Amy says. Good call. Good call. Mm. All right, so we decided to get the pecan bourbon bread pudding. So, and you know, you know, they had it was they had it at bourbon. I'll just be honest with you. I looked at all the other things, and this one had bourbon on, so I'm like, I gotta try it. So the bread pieces are really big. So let me give it a shot here. Mmm. It's really good. You know, the thing about bread pudding, though, and if you're in the South, you know this, I'm sure. Everywhere you go, it's different. And it's almost, like, delicious everywhere you go. But it is different. If you've looked at some of our other videos, we've gotten bread pudding at other places. We've gotten, like, white chocolate bread pudding. We've gotten, like, all different types of bread pudding. And they always have, like, a different texture, a different consistency. But I don't think I've had, like extra runny or really gross bread pudding it's always been delicious now i know amy's waiting to take a bite because she's watching me eat it i'm gonna do one more bite just so she can salivate while i eat it paul's right like bread pudding isn't a thing in the pacific northwest where we've been living so we've been able to explore bread pudding since being down here and this Wow. It's warm. There's a lot of really comforting seasonings in there. Probably cinnamon. Probably um, like nutmeg. I mean, it's almost like something you would want to eat in the fall. Bourbon. Oh, apparently there's bourbon. And of course, pecans. Now, do you say pecan or pecan? I say pecan. Because that's how my friends in the South say it. Pecan, pecan, tomato, tomato. So what did we think of the El Capitan uh, Hotel and Restaurant? Well, I can't say much about the hotel because I don't know. The restaurant was surprising. You know, coming through West Texas, we really didn't know what to expect. We were thinking like Sonic or some of these fast food places. But this place was really like a diamond in the rough you know they have a great menu they have an amazing uh liquor list i mean i was not expecting to have the options that i did for liquor even though i didn't buy any this place was definitely worth the stop i highly recommend it the food was beautiful it was delicious the service was friendly and uh guys i can't complain i highly recommend swinging by here if you happen to be 
but why would you happen to be in West Texas, right? But if you are coming through, check it out. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. As you can't tell, we go to weird places, okay? We're all over the country, maybe in your neck of the woods at some point, and we really want to uh, know where to go. You tell us where to go, and if we're in the area, we'll go there, and we'll even mention you in one of our videos. We'd also like to encourage you to reach out to your local food bank, food shelter, some kind of food pantry, whatever you wanna call it. Make sure to give a couple of bucks, maybe some cans of food, or donate some time, because you can make a really big difference in someone's life, and makes you feel good too. So until we eat again together, we'll see you guys.